the second of the long distance races next then this is a two and a quarter miler this one and the top one is shark boulder for david robertson quick pond leon van rensburg viva cadiz paul rhodes star deli alex cherry mondia boot cdj liggett Sur uh, shoe island for darren thompson give me some candy craig allen eagle feathers martin Liedem, and kerasana turtle for graham clutterbox so nine facing the starter this time and we see them from the inside of the track for the start this time and away they go with give me some candy just about the first one to show with in second place quick pond star deli over on the near side and right over on the far side shoe island but they're pretty closely grouped together and the pace isn't all that hot as you wouldn't expect it to be with such a long distance to go and it's give me some candy who's settling down into the lead from eagle feathers who's now moved through into second viva cadiz is in third and then comes shark boulder and shoe island then the gray mondia boot is after that one looking towards the back kerasana turtle it's just about the back marker at this early stage of the race then so give me some candy and eagle feathers are disputing the lead and the first name leads by a batter head to eagle feathers in second viva cadiz is about two lengths back from them in third then comes shark boulder in fourth who's running on the inside of mondia boot then shoe island is the one that's widest on the track and the back three are virtually in a line kerasan the turtle quick pond and star deli so it's taking this long long sweeping turn then and give me some candy has now gone on by a battle length to eagle feathers in second and the water is pretty much the same as it has been throughout the race so far and they've still got a long way to go well over a mile and a half still to travel and it's give me some candy who's in the lead now asserting by two to eagle feathers in second and then viva cadiz back in third sharp boulder is fourth then the gray mondia boot and then shoe island after that one and then quick pond kerasana turtle and star deli three in a line still playing the offside trap at the back but it's give me some candy in front then by about two lengths or so as they pass the point that'll be the furlong pole next time round and a jump track on the inside there we've got jumping from this part of the world next week the final trials before the new season if the new season does indeed go ahead and give me some candy is in the lead being challenged now by eagle feathers on the outside and eagle feathers has probably just about gone on now then uh, let's give me some candy drops back into second then comes viva cadiz back in third mondia boot is fourth and then shore and shark boulder quick pond is after that one star deli and kerasana turtle at the back but eagle feathers has now gone on by about four lengths and is clear off give me some candy and viva cadiz has now moved through to second then comes mondia boot and shoe island with a gap back then to shark boulder and then quick pond starting to make a bit of a forward move star deli is trying to trap that one's run and kerasana turtle is the back marker now and as eagle feathers continues to lead but he's now being challenged by viva cadiz and mondia boot and shore and close up third and fourth bit of a gap then back to quick pond and then shark boulder give me some candy has dropped right through the field and an alarming rate and he's now right out the back and he's only got one behind and that's kerasana turtles they pass the six furlong pole then so i don't know if there's anything to miss with give me some candy but it's dropping back and it's just about last now as eagle feathers is taken on by viva cadiz on the inside viva cadiz on the inside then he's about a head up now then from eagle feathers in second who's being pushed along coming out of the pack shoe on his third then mondia boot and quick pond star deli is now making a forward move then shark boulder big gap back to kerasana turtle and give me some candy is tailing off but it's viva cadiz by about half a length two eagle feathers in second star deli is third shoe on his fourth then quick pond trying to get closer mondia boots now looking a little bit one pace switching around the outside and come with a run is shark boulder bit of a gap back to kerasana turtle and forget give me some candy that one's gone but star deli is now just about in front as eagle feathers drops away as well viva cadiz and star deli they're now taking on each other as they come towards the final two furlongs in this one viva cadiz on the in the inside is just in front star deli in second running on his shark boulder in third quick pond is also trying to get going in fourth but a lot of ground to make up still viva cadiz is about a length and a half clear star deli is sticking on well inside the final furlong viva cadiz then two lengths clear now two and a half lengths clear viva cadiz is beginning to pull away and viva cadiz racing now inside the final quarter furlong and up towards the line it's going to be viva cadiz that's going to take it fast finishing shark boulder may have stolen second from star deli then quick pond and shoe and kerasana turtle Mondia boot and all the way back to give me some candy and a puzzling sort of race was in the lead and then dropped right out of it but some Viva Cadiz looks like a decent stayer from the Paul Rhodes yard 
And Stardelli did hang on to second, so Viva Cadiz takes it then for Paul Rhodes. Stardelli for Alex Cherry was second. Shark Boulder for David Robertson was third. Quick Pond Leon Van Rinsburg fourth. And Shoe Island for Darren Thompson was fifth. And looking down the bottom there, Gimme Some Candy wasn't injured or anything, so I really don't know what happened with that one, because that's one of the top stables, and you wouldn't have expected that one to drop down the way that it did.